If you're looking to build your first website for your business in 2021, this course is going to teach you step-by-step -step how to do that with Joomla without coding or without any prior experience. So I look forward to you all taking this course. Hey, what's going on, Matthew Tamer here. Listen, I'm excited today. I know that I haven't put out some new content in a little bit. That's because for those of you that have been following, moved into a new office space, new location, you know, so I've been getting things situated, organized and everything, all that good stuff. So I'll, I'll, I got things settled to a certain extent now, but I really wanted to do this series. Uh, I want to show you and teach you how to build your first website from scratch with Joomla without coding. You know, 2021, if your business is not online, you're losing a lot of customers. There's so many opportunities now, especially with COVID. A lot of people are home and a lot of businesses are looking to get online. So maybe you're one of those businesses, right? And you're trying to get your stuff online. And by the way, make sure that at the bottom of this video, you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button too, so I can really create more content like this one. Okay, so let's get started. So you're going to be creating a website with Joomla. What is Joomla? In a nutshell, I want to keep things very simple and basic. Joomla is a content management system that allows you to be able to build websites with or without coding. So if you've never coded before and you want to build a solid website, you can do so with Joomla. And you're going to see that when we get into the, the actual um, course. So it helps you to build great, awesome, fantastic websites. The next question is why Joomla? Well, I started using Joomla in 2007 and I never looked back. It's a really great software. It gives you a lot of developer support, a lot of extensions we'll talk about later on. So many great things that you can be able to do with it. And it powers millions of websites and billions of web pages. So it's a really greatly supported uh, software that you know you can you can grow with. Now, before we get started, I just want to go over something. When you're looking to build a website, right? You've never created one before. There's two questions that you got to ask yourself. Is your website, is it going to be, is this a static website or is this a dynamic website? This is very key because the type of website you choose to build will determine the route that you go. So if you're building a static website, again, let me keep this very, very simple. I don't want to get too far ahead of you. Just a static website. It's, it's a website that doesn't have a lot of things going on with it. Most of the time, it's just mostly just content. Maybe you have some pictures, some images. You know, you have maybe some little videos. That's even though it's going to the dynamic. But in, in a nutshell, a static website is the simplest form of a website that doesn't take, you know, have a lot to, to get up and going, right? I know sometimes when I want to, let's say, put out some content out there and I just want to put in some text. I don't want nothing else. That's a static website. And then the next thing is a dynamic website. A dynamic website, you know, just like the name has so many moving parts, right? You have, you know, shopping cart, you have a lot of videos, you have a, um, a lot of f different things that's moving. So dynamic gives you a lot more things you can do. Uh, but there's also some challenges that you're going to face with a dynamic website, which we're going to take a look at that later on. But it's really great. So the next thing now is you want to understand about web hosting. It is so key that before you build a website, right, especially with Joomla, any software, you need to understand the type of web hosting that you can get or you need to get. And I have so many clients that call me. Yeah, Matthew, you know. I'm, you know, I have a website out there that's not working. I have a problem with this. Or I, I'm confused about this. And one of the first questions that I ask them is, what type of server are you using? Um, I'm not sure. I think uh, maybe you need to understand clearly the type of server that you're using for your business. Because if you don't know the type of server, your, your business can really, really struggle. And I learned this the hard way when I first started uh, back in like 2002. Uh, you need to know the server. So there are three primary types of service that I want to cover and we're going to take a look at. Okay. The first server is what's called a shared server. Now I'm going to use an analogy to kind of break this down for you. So you understand what a shared server is. So think of a shared server as a swimming pool. You have this big, like Olympic size pool, right? Huge. And you have about, let's say 50 people swimming at the same time, right? So you have 50 people Every person have the you know just enough space for them. Maybe not fit, maybe a little bit less, but everyone have enough space. But you have a lot of people in there. 
So that's what a shared server is. It has so many people using it because it's been shared with other people. Okay, so that's a shared server. The next one, take a look at is the VPS. Now, VPS like a shared server. Let's take that swimming pool again, for example. Now, let's say you have that big swimming pool, but it's sectioned off. Instead of 50 people just randomly swimming all over, it's sectioned off into let's say five or 15 different parts. So the person that's in one section, they cannot just swim over to another section because there's just some type of a block, right? That's blocking them. You know. So the thing about that is. With the shared with the shared hosting, if something happens, it can affect everyone on that server. Everyone gets affected. And sometimes, if you have a website on a shared server, it may have to get shut down because someone else is experiencing something or there's some type of bugs. So sometimes that happens. With a VPS, it can happen as well. But this one is going to be a little bit more secluded, so they can be able to corner things a little bit more, so it's not affecting. Um, everyone is such a large scale but it's still going to affect everyone you know if it keeps getting worse so sometimes uh if you have a vps and you have some type of bug you know some type of uh you know malware or something your hosting company will let you know that because your server has been affected and it's affecting all the servers they're going to temporarily have they may have to shut it down to figure out what the problem is so that happens sometimes too and then finally you have what's called a dedicated server what is a dedicated server a dedicated server in a nutshell again is your own server so now let's go back to the olympic size pool example now that i'm using so think of it you know a dedicated service you have one big size olympic pool you have multiple pools and that entire pool belongs to you so you control what comes in who comes in how often you have absolute control over that entire pool you know as where with a shared server or vps other people are sharing it with you so that's the benefit now in terms of pricing uh, shared servers, they're very affordable. You can sometimes get them for like a dollar ninety-nine to like ten dollars plus, right, per month. Now, VPS is based on where you get them. Sometimes they can start from like the first month, usually like twenty dollars for the first month, and then go up to like fifty, sixty, based on the package and you know the specs for it. And then dedicated server too, you can get those sometimes for like you know a hundred dollars and and up. So that's key that you understand how servers work because I've seen so many people just start creating a website and they realize that their server is messed up. Their server is really messed up. So another thing too that you need to pay attention to is web security. This is called an SSL certificate. Most hosting companies now will make sure that you get a simple uh, SSL seal. That is just something that you see a little lock on your browser to let people know that this is secure if you don't have that search engines like google will penalize you for that because they want to make sure that people's information has been is safe so make sure that your hosting company provides you with an ssl this is they have free ones you know i don't want to go too much detail into that but they can provide you with a free ssl certificate for your site so once you get that the next thing is you want to uh, pay attention to uh extensions Whenever you're using a content management system, you're going to use what's called plugins or, or extensions. Now, those things allow you to do a little bit more. Um, they give you a lot more flexibility. You can add different things like add-ons. So think of like, you know, a la carte, you go, you buy this, you pick this, you pick different things based on what you're building. So if you're building a dynamic website, you want to add a video functionality, you can grab that. You can grab what's called an extension with Joomla. You can grab uh, video extensions. You can grab social media extensions and just to keep adding there. Now, the thing about it is that you just don't want to grab too many extensions. I had this problem before. When I first started, I was so excited and I wanted to just use everything. So I put a lot of things on the site, which affected my page speed. OK, so based on all the extensions that you have on your site, sometimes it can slow down your website. Most people really don't think about that. So you want to be careful as to how many extensions you put in there. So sometimes the extensions, they clash and it can cause major problems on your website. So and then finally, we're going to take a look at the five pages that you want to learn how to create. Now, these are five common pages that every website has, and you're going to learn how to build them from scratch. So first, you have the about us, the, the home page. This is the first page that people come to when they visit your website. Then you have the about us page, a little bit about you. you learn how to put a little bit about you, whether you want to add a, a small video 
or you know just a picture you can learn that and the next page is a services page what type of services do you offer so people can know now you can put a link where they can be able to order from there or you can have them contact you or a cart so we're going to take a look at that and then fourth you want to have a blog page now this is a page where you put your information about you know what you're doing what you're working on maybe some updates about things that you got going on uh, and then finally you're going to have a contact us page uh, for your website you need to have a way for people to contact you now these are the five core pages that every website has every single website you don't need to have 20 30 or 40 to get started right you can have just those few uh, one thing too is that when you have just those few uh, we're going to make sure that they are done professionally. So we're going to use extensions and I'm going to show you through or walk you through the different options that you have, right? We're going to use what's called page builders and page builders allows you to build websites easily just by dragging and dropping. So I'm going to walk you through and show you the different ones that they have and how you can be able to use them. And the best part about this is that you're going to learn how to use the free version or you can go with the pro version. Now I'll show you with the free version, which have certain limitations. So this is going to be exciting we're going to cover all that so if you're looking to build your first website for your business in 2021 this course is going to teach you step by step how to do that with joomla without coding or without any prior experience so i look forward to you all taking this course